Microfono. Hi guys, my name is Wolf. Welcome to my new video. Today we are talking about how to improve your finger picking technique. But first of all, if you want to support me, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's really nothing more than just a click for you, but it makes a huge difference for me. Thank you very much. Finger picking guitar is pretty challenging, I know. And I know also that a lot of you out there are struggling improving your technique. Although it's also true that it really doesn't matter how long you practice, but how you practice. Sorry for the disappointment, guys, but I really can't give you any magic tricks. Unfortunately, the three magic rules for improving are always the same. Practice, practice more, and practice again. If you focus on what you practice, although you can make your improvements definitely faster and more consistent. So today I'm gonna show with you guys a few exercises and a few tips that can really, really bring your playing in finger picking style up to another level. First tip of the day is this, think like a band. It's very important that you focus on every little detail when you play finger style. So let's start focusing on your thumb playing. Now, if I play like this, I give you only information about the tempo. But your thumb definitely does more than just keeping the tempo. The thumb is important for dynamics and most of all is important for groove. So there ain't no groove here and no dynamics. But what if I think like a band? and I want to give my thumb the intention and the sound of an upright bass muting a little bit the string and I want to give the hit or a chunky sound to remember and to remind you the sound of a snare and the hit of the snare so something like this like this we have tempo informations we have dynamics and we have groove so this as you notice is a very single pattern one two three four and i'm playing the pattern six four six four so instead of this one two three four we have this one two three four one two three four so please remind yourself to focus on the details and think like a band. Second tip I want to give you today is about synchronizing and patterns. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Piedmont blues artists from the 20s and the 30s, so, and they were playing with three fingers. So, you got this movement of the bass, of the thumb, great. Now, we can add a couple of strings playing with two fingers at the same time on two different strings, of course. So, we are in the key of E major, and we can play third and second string together or second and first and we play this pattern every beat of the thumb so one two three four one two three four or other strings now that you got this try to play the right way with the thumb and notice what happened of course you don't have to play on every beat but it's very important that you got this concept of playing together like this i know it's really basic i know it's very simple but don't forget that sometimes less is more and you can definitely play fantastic patterns and fantastic grooves just playing all together like this so let me play for you a little sequence of chords playing just like this only notes together Sounds cool. Tip number three is about syncopation. Now, what it means syncopation? It definitely means that we have to play notes in the middle of the beat. So if before we had one, two, three, four, now we count and one, 
and two and three and four. That and before the beat is the syncopation. How we play that? Well, we have to split these two fingers, not anymore two notes together every time, but one note at a time. And our first finger is playing the syncopation, an and, and the middle finger is playing the one, two, three, four. So basically it's going like this. And one, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. Change strings. And one, no sorry. <laughs> and one, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. Now I'm giving you all the patterns and all the examples in the key of E major, but really this stuff works in any key, all right? It's just patterns. Now try to practice this syncopation pattern together with the thumb and don't forget to focus on the right way to play with the thumb, okay? Think like a band, don't forget. And it goes like this. I know this one is a little bit more challenging, but it's really, really worth it. Now, let's play the same examples, the same sequence of chords I played before, but trying to combine all the three tips I gave you. So the thumb, the notes all together, and the syncopation. And it goes like this. Super cool. Thank you guys for watching the video. I really hope you found it useful. You find every information about me and my music in the description. Don't forget, please, to subscribe to the channel and see you next time.